Okay. Hey, everybody. Is it working? Uh, Anne, say can something. Hear, can you hear oh, me? Oh, no, it's still oh, mute. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wait oh, a minute. No. No, Sorry. Uh, guys, I don't know how this is going to go. There is a technical problem. I'm glad it didn't happen the other day. Poor Anne is trying to talk and I can't get any volume on her mic. So um, thanks for everybody for coming. I'm glad you're here to see the disaster. Have you ever thought about doing another paper trail? Taylor and I were talking. Well, yeah, my, my thing is working, Cheryl, but um, Anne's is not and I can't figure out why. Um, anyway, we had feedback if I, if I unmuted my <laughs> my convoluted system, I don't know what to do here. Um, anyway, you hear Anne talk? Oh, wow. How could that be? Maybe, okay, well, that's going to be hard, though, if I don't hear her talk. <laughs> All right, I don't know. You know what it might be? Let me check my phone. Maybe this is it. Anne, say something. No, I still can't hear. Oh, she's not in the stream. All right. Anyway, <laughs> you guys are going to have to tell me what Ann said. Anyway, let me just say hi and welcome everybody. You wouldn't believe how much it throws you off when you cannot get things to work and you know that you have to go live and there's people waiting. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do I know sign language? <laughs> no, but we'll give it a try, Jenny. Um, yeah, Cheryl saying that too. Okay. You heard us both. All right. Well, then you know what? We'll, we'll give it a try when it comes time and I will be surprised and can tell me after what we said. Um, this will be interesting. Okay. So, um, hey everybody, I'm just looking through the chat here. There's Charlotta, Linda. How are you? Anne's picture is gone. That's, that's okay. That's, she should be glad. She's she's waiting in the waiting room. Okay, let me just tell you what we're going to do today. We have some really cool news, which is good because you apparently can hear it. You will know more than me <laughs> because I didn't get a chance to talk to Anne because I couldn't hear her. So um, that's fine. I, I'm sure it has something to do with my headset and <laughs> it's it's all in there. Maybe I should put that on. Wait a minute. Let me get it. All right. Maybe this will work. We'll see. But I'm going um, <laughs> to go ahead and get going with this. Because what I want to do today is Anne has a really a cool announcement about the retreat in February. And so she wants to share that with everybody here. And um we're going to do that in a minute. But the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to um, go into a more in-depth look at chapter one. And um, we'll be doing that after. One other thing I wanted to say, uh, as you know, we sold out of the chapter one release. I have more ordered. And there are like five people who ordered the journal and then some other things. And I ran out of journals. So they are coming next week. So if you could just be patient with that, uh, I would appreciate it. I'll be messaging you on Etsy. So um, anyway, hey, Karen Beers. Hey, Laura. All right. I can hear me in here. We'll see if I hear Anne. <laughs> hey, Mitziana, Leslie, Pam, Rebecca. Hey, Glum. Hi, Sharon. All right, I'm just scrolling up here to see who all is here. All right, well, we're going to give this a try. <laughs> um, see what happens. Let me just make sure that I said everything I need to see, say. I um, have a couple little things to show you that I got over Christmas. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, I am going to give this a try and bring Anne in. Okay. okay, let me make can this you hear a little me? bigger here. Oh. Okay, Anne. Can you hear me? I don't hear you, but wait a minute. 
Can you hear me now? Yes, I hear oh. you with these on. All right, I look like a dork, but oh, you know, go ahead. Sometimes we do, right? Yes. <laughs> oh. All right. So I feel like a pilot or something. Well, if only <laughs> so you, you can hear I everybody. Speak. We hear her. Good. Okay, okay, we're all set. Jenny had a good comment. She said, Anne can talk and Eileen can listen to the replay. <laughs> That was so cute. <laughs> we could do that, but I'm liking. I like, I like the headphones to be working. Okay. No. Yeah. So, tell us well, the news. Hi, Anne. everyone. It's so good to be here. Um, so we've made an adjustment to the retreat, which is next month already. Gosh. Yeah. Um. Uh, so we are now doing it. So many people were asking for it to be virtual too. And I couldn't wrap my mind around doing in person and virtual when Lisa wasn't going to be there in person too. And it was just me. Right. Yeah. Uh, so we have changed it to just a virtual event. But the cool part about it is it's kind of a retreat for the instructors because <laughs> we're going to all be together in yeah. one place. We're all going to be together in Dallas, well, Fort Worth. Okay. And um, the, the retreat is still going to be two and a half days. It's going to start Thursday night with the introduction of the instructors and the sponsors. We might do a pajama party that night. <laughs> Eileen said she'd get new pajamas. I will. <laughs> My husband said he would do a KFC run for us. Yeah. All right. We're so good. We're set. <laughs> so we might do a pajama party that night. But now instead of getting four workshops, you're going to get 13. Wow. So you get all of the workshops. It's going to be in a private Facebook group. So you will be able to watch all the replays. Or live. It. Right. Yep. Right. Well, you get to watch the lives, but later you can watch right. the replay and catch them all. pause it so you can catch up and do what you want. Mm -hmm. And along with the 13 workshops, there's going to be over a dozen tips and tricks, little tiny mini classes that will come on in between. Um, Sorry, I just saw a snowmobile go by. When I was oh. live yesterday, my, my son came. You're I remember. I All like, right. Well, don't, uh, Anne, let yes. me just, I'm looking at the comments. Maybe we should go back and say this was going to be an in-person retreat, but you didn't no. get enough for the hotel. It was a lot of money. Yeah. And so we had to readjust, right? Yep. So now it will be all virtual. Yes. So anybody, anybody can come. Can come. No matter so where Anne, you are. Right. Anne had already figured it out with all the classes and blocks and all that stuff. And now it, it's all going to be available to everybody. Yep. So you get to go to all the classes instead of just the, you know, like if you had time for four, you can see them all now. Yes. And it'll be kind of like the event that we had in November. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, right. where we... You have a Facebook group. Everybody comes in. You watch, take a break, come back. So, yes. Yes. Everything will be scheduled. Yes. And in between workshops, we'll do like mini ones like how to make the perfect bow. You yeah. know, just tips and tricks that you guys, I love techniques and tips and tricks. So we'll be sharing those with you. And it will, you know, so like all day Friday, all day Saturday, we will do the workshops. We will be doing door prize giveaways Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And I have got thousands of dollars worth of door prizes that have been donated. So where do we get the information? I can't put a link in here. If Lisa's here, she'll put the link in. But Eileen, in the in our chat, I gave you the link. So maybe oh, I can put well, the link in. It. it won't let me put the link in. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I can either. Let me see. Well, I sent it to Lisa. Okay. Um, but I don't see her in here. I might be able to put it on one of these little banner things. Hang on. Oh, okay. 
So um, the registration yeah. opens today. It just opened right before we went live. I sent it to um, our email list. There it is. Yeah, there it is. I sent it to our email list. And okay, so there's two levels. There's a level if you want the swag. The swag is valued at... I don't have it all here yet, but should be valued at about $200. So that would be sent to you at the end of this month. Once it's all here, that won't be, that's just goodies. That isn't stuff for the workshops. The teachers will be selling kits. Okay. And Tanya, she just got the email. See, so she could put oh, good. it on me. <laughs> but um, so... The swag is valued at about $200, and that's, if you want the swag and you want to come to all the workshops, that's $127. Wow. If you want just the workshops, it's $97. Man. So, yeah, so it's less than $10 a class. Yeah, that's crazy. You know, I mean, it's, it's a great value, and you have them, you know, in that group whenever you want them. You're, they're yeah. Accessible. We will do swag for people out of the USA. You would just have to pay the additional, whatever the shipping cost. Thank you, Jenny. Oh, that's oh, there that's, it is. That's Thanks, the workshops. Jenny. Okay. I'll take so that's this one down. Um, the workshops with descriptions, except for Eileen's. Oh, wait a minute. I'm missing her, her descriptions, but you guys <laughs> all know her. So you know her workshops will be fabulous. Wow. She'll get it to me. <laughs> I will. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's a great value. And um, like I said, swag will be sent out of the U.S. We'll, we'll just calculate what the actual shipping is. And then the $127 is free shipping within the USA. So wow. whatever that USA shipping is, I would take that off. Like if it's $20. Yeah, bucks, overseas sending it overseas, I would deduct $20 from what the actual what it costs to ship. Yeah. So I will tell you last night, I saw what, what physics is sending alone and that's worth a lot right there. Lot. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. See, I don't know. Like I haven't gotten physics. I don't know what they're sending for the swag. I haven't gotten plaids. I haven't gotten adhesive technology, you know, so there's a lot of, so it might be, way more than yeah it could be. i'll keep you guys updated but Sounds i will good. take pictures as i am filling the swag bags with hints of what's going into them but it'll be really cool because all of the instructors will be together in one place that'll be cool you know so and could you tell us the dates again the dates are february 23rd through the 25th so thursday night through saturday night okay and but you can watch it anytime. Yep. I mean, yeah. if you miss one and each one will be like Eileen's class, she's doing two of them. They will be separate. So she'll do a class and we'll stop. And then we might do mm -hmm. a tip or a trick in between. And then another class will start. We'll have a whole schedule once I have all of the descriptions from the teachers <laughs> and um, we'll do a, uh, an outline so that you can catch the ones that you want to see for sure live and then watch the replays of the others. If you don't have the whole two and a half days to spend with us. But you can always watch it later. Yeah. Whenever yep. you want. Yep. And it's going to be in the group. So you can ask questions in the group and the instructors mm -hmm. inside that group will put what supplies you should have. Like um, Cindy Shepard, she is teaching Zentangles. Yeah, cool. and you basically need a piece of copy paper or cardstock, and you can use a pen, a pencil, a micron pen, whatever you want, you know, so you can just learn right along with her because that's the only two things you need. Yeah, um, you did a little a, an interview with her, didn't you? I did, it's yeah. on our Bella site. Um, yeah, so if you guys want to go over you're going to see some of the teachers interviewed and you'll kind of get a feel for what they do. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. There's like an echo in here. So I'm sure. like talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I did hard. Having hey, Amy Powers. 
I'm Katie. sorry. I'm just looking over there. No. <laughs> I so, feel ridiculous. I wonder if I did it like that. <laughs> you put it under your hair, you know, put your hair over it. Under just, my hair. All right. Let's see. You know, just have your. <laughs> see? That just looks. <laughs> Thank you, look, Jenny. Jenny, just put the link in there for oh, registration. Good. Thank you. Okay. So, yeah. So we think it's, you know, I asked all of the instructors price wise, you know, it's a good value for. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. You yeah. know, and swag. Who doesn't love swag? Everybody loves swag. Everybody loves swag. And I hope I'm getting one. <laughs> I, I, I did get extra for the instructor. Okay. <laughs> so each instructor gets. Extra. Well, you know, we could go th through. And I think, didn't you say that um, the there'll be lives like talking about the classes and mm -hmm. from the manufacturers talking about yep. different yep. things? So. Um, I've reached out to all the sponsors to see if they want to come on live with us or if they want to do a pre-done video showcasing their products or we will we will do a five to ten minute about each of the sponsors so you guys can get to know them and some of them are um, looking for artists to come on live with us so yeah there we go yeah so it will be it will be fun so besides it will be great the eight instructors we have and then I'll be there not teaching um which is weird you will but, be the leader but um we will also have other artists that will pop in nice so that will be fun yeah and those segments will all be recorded separately so if you miss it you can go back and watch it yeah all right does anybody have any questions for Anne um I would recommend you go over and Get your spot, sign up, and uh, we'll we'll be bringing more updates here too. Yeah, because the swag bags are limited. Oh right, so okay. there's only a certain amount. Yeah, but the the other option is open to anyone. Okay, very good. Yep. So thank good. you. Good. We are Excellent. excited. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Yes. I can't wait to go hang out with my friends. Um, the yeah. class kits, Rebecca, they vary in price. I know that um, I believe Pear Blossom Press, I believe hers are $10 and it's two cards and the lights. And I think it includes the shipping. Um, I know that there are several instructors from Texas. So like if you wanted a class kit from Julie and you wanted a class kit from Jean, they would try to put those together. So oh, the shipping is, is Save all. The shipping. And I talked to Rita today. She's thinking about doing mixed media kits. And she would get together with Julie and Jean. So that okay. those could all be shipped in one. The swag with classes is 127 The other is 97 Yes, that's the difference. Yeah. yeah. I'm probably going to do a kit because I know that not everybody. I'm probably going to do the new dyes. I know. I know that not everybody has a big shot plus so or a you know nine inch machine. So I'm probably gonna have an option for you can do a kit or not. You don't have to. So all signed I up. Michelle, you are on it. Oh, thank you. you. California little tax rebate rebate is no longer burning a hole in her pocket. <laughs> We're happy to help you with that, Michelle. We are. It will be so much fun. It does look really thick. <laughs> well, I, I swear, have, I feel like uh, Princess Leia now. Yeah, you're right. Just, just put your hair back. I should. I just, I don't know. They're not tight enough. I, they're falling off. Anyway. We'll figure out why that echo. Happened. Yeah, I have to figure it out. It's crazy. Leslie, so glad All right, you're Lori is signed up. She's registered Yay, too. Lori's Excellent. Hey, hey, we Angie. are so excited. This is going it's to gonna be, be great. It I is. Think I think people, the coolest part is, although we would love to have all of you with us, having the instructors in one place, all of the instructors are going to bring extra kits so that instructors oh, can, can take do the class from the instructor. Fun. 
And then that way, wow. if we have questions, yeah, it might we be can the ask same them issue. Too. But Lisa is going to be um, like I was backstage. Lisa is going to be yeah. backstage so she can pop in because she'll be watching the chat and okay. she can say, hey, Lori has a question about blah, blah, blah. You know, so she can tell the instructor right away what that question is. And hopefully we can get those answered. Yeah. I think Leslie has a good point. We will all be in our craft rooms with all our stuff. Right. So we can, you know, we can, we can, we'll have our, our list ahead of time, mm -hmm. the supply list. Yeah. So, so you can have them can, ready. But if you forget something, you just go in the drawer and get it. Yeah. It's really good. It does. I hey, mean, Karen the comfort of your own home sometimes. Yeah. I love playing with products and doing different things, but I'm more comfortable doing it here. Yeah. When I'm at a retreat or an event, I'm visiting. Yeah, um, I know. I, I'm I listening. I'm paying attention to the instructor, but I usually don't finish the project. In Me class. either. Hardly ever. Yeah, I still have lots of half finished things. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what are you going to do? PJ craft days are the best, Naomi. I know. agree. That's why we're <laughs> going to do a pajama party. Yeah. And maybe there might be some behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. So they see what hijinks are going on. There will <laughs> definitely be shenanigans. Um, we'll all have phones mm -hmm. and we can just go live within the group. That could and be frightening. I am actually leaving here the end of the month. So I will be in Texas for a whole month. And there's Julie McGuffey. Hey. Julie I McGuffey do. is so kind to offer her home as the venue. That's and um, so like on my way to Texas... I can stop by Julie's and show you guys where we'll be filming. Oh, cool. You know, her house is beautiful. That's what I hear, Julie. Happy and Karen Hightower is here. Mm -hmm. She's one of the instructors. She Excellent. is a designer for Gina K. Yes, our, uh, hi, Karen. Design team. And she is doing two technique classes. Je I think Jenny had put in the link in here for... Um, the workshop so the the description for the workshops and some of the pictures are there i don't have all of the pictures there's a cute little oh. graphic that says photo coming that <laughs> um, will be me what <laughs> you and Rita, it's gonna right? be cool it's a few but it will be yeah it'll be worth it julie <laughs> says <laughs> she didn't know she had to wear pjs not for all of it julie no no <laughs> and you know pjs so all right karen's cool. getting them too <laughs> you guys can all be wearing them at home and send pictures to us of you yeah. wearing your pajamas. Yes, because you can put pictures right in the group. Yeah. And we can categorize it. Yes, we can make little albums, a PJ yeah. album. <laughs> Where in Texas, in Texas. Debbie, it is a virtual event. All of the instructors will be together in Texas. But you can, um, it's virtual, so you can watch. So you will be wherever right you are. Your location. Yeah. So it's really cool how it works. Um, it is. It, it was hard to believe that could actually all come together because this platform is just so good. It is. It's, you know, makes it easy. So less for us to worry about. Yeah. So. so. All right. Well, thank you guys. Thank you, Anne. Yes, we will be good news. live again at some point. Should I have a PJ contest for oh. we have a PJ contest for those viewing? I love yeah. that idea. <laughs> that is okay. a good idea. I can see the the ideas start flowing here. It's gonna be yeah, because you can take a selfie of your of yourself in your pajamas yes, and um, maybe the computer in the background. Yep. See? Or whatever. So, yeah. Or or you're crafting your your desk. Mm -hmm. We would love yeah. to see those. That would be interesting. I love always. Every once in a while during our lives, I'll turn my computer so people can. <laughs> yeah. I actually, I would never do that. Life, I 
I switched to my phone and I showed everybody my sewing room upstairs. Yeah. It was That's, clean. I, of course it would be. <laughs> this girl can't leave her house to go to CHA without having a clean studio. Nope. My husband asked me a couple of weeks ago, why are you doing all of this? You're not leaving, right? <laughs> but I'm, it's usually clean anyhow. But yeah, she's very I tidy. deep clean when I leave because you never know what's going to happen. You, know, you don't want people to walk into your house. And... No, you don't. But still, sometimes <laughs> might happen. Then, oh, well. <laughs> okay, so I will re-put the link in here when I'm out and watching Eileen do the okay, great. stuff. All right. And we'll be, you can share it in the fan club, Anne. That will be good. Okay. Thank yeah. You. Okay. Perfect. Well, thank you all, all right. for listening. And we hope to see you virtually at the event. Yes. It's going to be good. It is. All right. I need you in Scotland to do, I would, Karen, I would, I would. Too deep I love to. She, I do. I, I do like the deep clean. But... <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks, Claire. I would love to go back. All right, we'll we'll talk. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks, Anne, for thanks all the everyone. good news. Yeah, and uh, we're excited. We'll be talking to you soon. Okay. All Bye. right. Okay. Bye. All right, guys. Now, just making sure. Can you hear me? Let's hope. Or not, maybe. <laughs> uh, I can't see if any. Yes. Okay, good. All right. Well, that is interesting, don't you think? That is going to be so much fun. I can't wait. So I got to get my class together. Is there anything you guys want to see? Okay. Well, if you can, just put it in the chat and I'll take a look. All right. Just a couple things I wanted to show you before we get going. One of them is, you know, I went and saw my daughter at Christmas and look at this little ornament she made. Isn't that amazing? She is my like OCD child that gets all. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can get my. Look at this. It's all beaded. And then on the back, she put 22. I had to brag. Isn't it pretty? Okay. And then this is my from, from my friend Kimberly. And she has been taking all these lettering classes and like inking and all kinds of stuff. Isn't that beautiful? And then look at this card. She did that. She's an artist. But isn't that amazing? I love it. I want her to show me how to do it. So anyway, that kind of made me like, I need to take classes. <laughs> I want to do it all. There's just not enough time. But you know what? If we do have that retreat, you know, at the retreat, it kind of gets you in that frame of mind. And I'm really excited about that. So I need kind of a refresh. I, I took a break and then kind of hard to come back. So the the release has jump started me, but I just kind of wanted to go over a couple of the things. And, you know, we have about a half an hour, so I'm still going to do an assembly video and I will probably repeat a lot of this stuff in that. But for today, I wanted to um, just a couple things. For one, um, I, I don't know if I said it the other day, but I got a restock of the luster wax. So if anybody needs that, it's in the Etsy store. Um, these are some other things that you might need. You want to see how to make the new journal. Okay, it's coming. It's coming. Um, if you wanted to cover your chipboard, which is what I have a sample of to show you, you might want this uh, easy cut adhesive because you can cover that with paper or other, other new things, other materials. Uh, you also will probably want some strong adhesive. And I have the half inch and the quarter inch red liner tape also in the Etsy store. Okay. Some of the other things that will work with this die are the stamps. And I honestly, I just thought of it today. Um, we've got this one. It's called um, planner making plans. So this is what it looks like. It's got all of these and 
you know, we have tabs and we have these little cards. So all of these words can go on there. And I was thinking, you know, it's got the the months and the date, you know, days of the week, it's got these little labels. So those would all fit on these pieces here. And if we're doing ATCs, also we need to talk about the swap, but let's do this first. And I might do a separate thing about the swap. So here's, this is another one. This is called um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. snail mail postage. And this is what that looks like. It's kind of hard to see because it's light, but it's a lot of postage st stamps. And, you know, so if you wanted to do kind of a faux postage or vintage look on your pages, you could use those because they're small enough to fit. And here's another one. And this is called uh, button cards and more. And so this one right here, it kind of fits on the ATC card. It's a little small, but you could use that to put your name and all those other things um, on the back. So, uh, and just to go over it real quickly, these are the separate pieces that came in this set. There's um, four items in this set. Uh, this is the tablecloth embossing folder. We've got library card and ATC and tabs and the tiled alphanumeric, and then also the journal. And that's what I want to show today, how to put that together, because there's a lot of options. I know the white rubber is really pretty. Okay, so let's uh, clear the desk here and get this going. All right, let me turn my camera down. Let's get that. Looks funny. All right, I don't know why that's, why is it doing that? Um, hmm. I don't know why that's in the way. Oh, I put my phone in wrong. Oh, sorry guys, this is messed up today. No, isn't it? What the heck? Yeah, this should work. Oh my God, <laughs> sorry. See, you go all this time without technical problems and then you get them. I don't know, I don't understand why this is happening. Because usually, uh, maybe I need to go that way. Oh my Lord. Oh, okay, it wasn't going sideways. No. Anybody help me? All right. I don't know what to do here. What an idiot. <laughs> the arm is in the way, but it's like this every time, Leslie. I mean, this is how I do it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. No, it's still wrong. What the heck? Oh, this way. Oh, I am sweating, guys. Oh, I am struggling big time. What the? All right. You know what? I have... I have my other stand somewhere. Oh, wait a minute. It's headed the wrong direction. Duh. Oh, God. I am an idiot. I am so sorry. All right. I think we got it. Ugh. I had it upside down. What a... All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here we go. All right, they're going to say, if she thinks she can do an online class, she's out of her mind. And I would say, yes, that could be. You're right. All right, well, all right, there we go. All right, I have to make this kind of high because the Big Shot Plus is larger. Um, actually, I don't, let me show you first. All right, let me so show you some options of things you can cut. 
<sighs> Guys, why do I do this to myself? That's what I want to know. <laughs> okay. All right. So what I cut it out of is 9 by 12 chipboard. This is uh, 50 point weight. It's very thick. It's heavy duty. You can use lighter, but it's not going to be as substantial a project. Yes, that's a good idea. Glum says take a picture and stick it on the wall. Glum, you should write like a hints for Halloween thing because you're so practical. All right, now this is another thing that you can cut, but sometimes I have a problem. It's not a problem, but it doesn't score consistently always. So you want to have it going this way if you're cutting with your score lines. And then it's a little better. If it goes this way, you might get off a little. Anyway, we'll do that at one time and you can, you know, see what I mean about that. Here is another thing. This is the gift box. And I showed you this the other day, I think. Is there a smaller version of the album? Yes, Lori, there are a bunch of them. But this is kind of the new one. Because you, we love your Facebook lives. God bless you, Teresita. Or, I mean, Charlotta. I'm looking at everybody. I'm all out of, I'm messed up. All right, anyway, I'm starting over here. So these gift boxes are cool, but they're a little thin. But if you were to build these up a little, like if you did two of them back to back, you know, depending on what side you wanted, that gold is kind of cool. And it is pretty sturdy. I tried making a, it, I made a cover for, I don't know if I have it in here, but it's, it's pretty, it doesn't move very much, so I didn't really like it for the cover of my insert book, but I like it for the cover of my book itself. And this is another one. This is a little bit thinner than this, but this is also a gift box. What I like about them is there's so many pretty patterns, and I think this is would be beautiful if you inked around the edge, like in a brown or even a white because this is resist so you could even go over the whole thing and add a color to it and then wipe off and you would still have the white pine cone and leaves i just i can't wait to do that i haven't done it yet anyway so a gift box is another option if you added adhesive and paper or metal or some other heavy heavy duty thing like the texture texture roll that would bump it up and that would be a nice weight this is the other thing, and this is what I was going to show today. These are file folders. I got them at, I think it was Office Depot. That one kind of got faded. So if they're older, you know, and faded, these are a good thing to make covers from. I really like the colors of these and the patterns. So I'm going to show how to make one of these today. Another thing that you could use is this, and this is like a coated box. Um, this was something that I got when over the weekend. It's kind of a mess now, but it's this little organizer, and it's very sturdy, and you can move these little pieces around. So I'm, I used it the other day to organize, which you can't tell, but um, the little things that I wanted to show you yesterday or Tuesday on the live. So, but this box you could use just by cutting it up. And like, this is kind of pretty, uh, kind of bright, but you could do some kind of Valentine-y things, or you could cover this with paper or, you know, lots of options of what you could cover it with fabric and cut that. The other thing is I like this side, the white, and it's the mini fluted corrugated board. You can see, I think you can see. So anyway that's something you could use too. So, and then we said the cereal boxes and all those other things, but uh, I wanted to show you what, how it goes together. So what I thought I would do is just show you when you cut it out twice. And I think I said, or I don't remember if I told you, I, I take the nine by 12 sheet, but I trim off a quarter of an inch. So it fits better on the die because if you do it at the 9 by 12 it's just right to the side, and sometimes it kind of moves. Yes, that's a good idea, Laura. Scoreboard, scoreboards version. 
All right, so I'm just going to put these pieces in little piles. And, you know, if you cut two pieces of these, here's what you get. You don't need two of everything, but like yesterday on the live, you know, if you have two of these and you want to put them on here as like a little decorative element on the front and back, that's cute. And the other thing I was thinking was that would make a nice little tuck, you know, if you cut it out of paper and put them on the sides of your pages. Uh, you know, you could, you know, just glue here, here, and here, and you could slide things in and use them for that. So just look at all the elements and see what you want to do with them. So let's look at the cover here. And I didn't poke out all my holes. But let's do that. So you need two covers. Unless you're going to make a little mini version like Jenny did. And then you're just going to chop this in half, you know, and let me show you the one that she did. So you would just, you know, measure it, cut it down the middle. I would trim that off, but it doesn't even matter because I think she wrapped hers with paper. So you don't even see if that hole is halfway there. And then you have two, two sides, and then you just take the two bindings and kind of, you know, wrap them together. And you've got a shared binding there. And then you have this adorable little book that your library card and ATC or I, library, library pocket and ATC card will just fit in. So that I think is really a fun option. So that would fulfill some of my, uh, you know, when I design, I like to make uh, each die have three uses. So that would be one of them. All right. Now I have little holes all over my desk. Okay. So the different thing about this die is how it goes together. Normally, well, all we do is we take this, we fold over here, and we match them up, which you could do. All right. Let's just do it. And I don't ever do that because of what happened right here. Do you see that? I didn't have even pressure and this side started to split. So what I do is lay it over my table and then I fold. So that's what I'm gonna do this time. So let's do that here. So here are some options of what you could do. All right, so now you have the two sides. You can butt these up together, glue them down, tape them down, and you have a book cover, nice and thick, okay? This one is about one and five eighths inches wide, okay? The other thing that you can do is you can take this line right here, this score line, and fold on that. And I'm doing it here. Fold that over and fold that over here on this one. And like I said, don't worry, I'll do this in a separate video so you can, you don't have to watch all this <laughs> disaster again. Okay, so you've got this, and then what you do is just adhere that to that. Then this comes around to the front, and then you add your flap. Okay, I didn't go all the way over with that. That's why you want to really crease that. But then if you do that, you glue that on, you've got your book. This could go there or it could go there like that. Um, mostly I do it on the outside just because I like the look of it. Um, now something about this, like I said, you really need to have strong adhesive, okay? Because you only have this little strip to hold it together. So what I've been doing is I've been using my red line tape, but I've also been going through and stitching it with my machine. You don't have to, but I just like that extra security of knowing this is going to stay together because this is a place of stress. You know, you're going to be opening and closing it and you really want to make sure that that is glued down. Probably your art glitter glue would work fine too. And, you know, just let it set and 
pardon or whatever it does cure <laughs> but um i like the thought of the extra stitching so here's one that i did like that um let's open it up so see i reinforced over here this is not the best stitching and then i thought you know i'm just going to go around and stitch on all around the edge but over here got a pen in the way but i stitched down here and down here just to be safe. But I also did a couple where I did not do that and they were fine too. But just saying you could do it if you wanted. And if you have some kind of vintage design, you might like the look of that. Okay. And the other thing is good is it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Now, there are more options. All right. If you don't want to have a flap like we said, you don't have to, you know, bring this whole thing around and have this piece here. You can just chop it off or to it probably it would make more sense to trim off this flap and this flap. And then you'd have a three, in, you know, a three hole book or you could, you know, you could do that if you wanted. But sometimes these get bulky and, you know, they don't fold together. So it's easier to just chop that off. And then these are going to match up and you would have, you know, just a nice regular little book. Okay. So that's another option. Now, some of the other pieces that come with this die, uh, let's look at it here, are, and boy, this was tricky. I wanted it to be bigger, but there just was not enough room. There's never enough room. All right, so these are your little flaps. And then these are like a, um, a pocket, window pocket. And then this is another 3D pocket. I call this a frame. So this is fun because you get not only this, but you get this cute little card, which I was just playing with, and it perfectly fits little wallet photo you know you just have to trim off your around your corners here and I just think that is so cute such a nice backing you know so you could put it right inside or you could kind of put a piece behind it and float it anyway there's a lot you can do all right so this one now this is scoreboard you know this is thick but you don't have to do that. You can just take this section and cut it out of paper and you can see where to score, you know, right on all of these lines where these come together. And I think also it's like three eighths inch. Yeah, three eighths inch. So you could just put it on your scoreboard and you've got three eighths inch go around. And, you know, so the way these work is you just go, you know, the drill, you go on your score lines, fold them over. You always fold away from the score line and you want your right side. If you cover this with paper or something, you want the right side facing the die when you cut it. So you can do it like this. And the reason that I like to leave this bulk on here is that it gives you more room inside to put something. But if you wanted it to lay flat against your page or whatever, you can take this um, extra here and you can peel it away. And then, you know, it's going to lay flatter because there's less bulk from all this stuff here. I don't want to do it because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. But we've done it before. You just peel it away and then you, you know, glue that down on the inside, on the outside. Um, this one I did, you know, I painted that one. That was chipboard. I painted it pink because it matched. And then I just put that on the front. And that's another one of those little cards. And then here is where you can put your box. But the nice thing is if you cut two of them, they fit in this size spine of the two or three, you know, little signatures here. I don't ever know what to call anything. <laughs> but if you have two of these, they're going to fit in the book, <laughs> basically. 
All right, so here's this other piece, and this is the pocket. And this is pretty good size, so it will hold easily journaling cards, little books if you made them and put them in there, or little tickets or any kind of memorabilia. You know, they will fit. You can fit a lot. But the other thing is, if you cut them out of paper, then, well, let's just do these first. All right, so again, fold them all the way over. Because this stuff, it's thick and it resists, you know, wants you to work at it a little bit. And do that with all of your folds all the way over. You're breaking the fibers so they're less of a pain. And then these match up. And then what I do is I take my red line tape and I go all the way around with one piece. I kind of fold it at the corner and do it just so that it all stays together better. I think that, that works. Uh, what is this die called and price? Uh, Linda, this is called the Frame Pocket Journal. It's by Sizzix. And the price is, I think they're $59.99. Okay, I have them in my Etsy. Well, they're out of stock right now, but I'm getting more. Okay, so they're, and they're called scoreboards. They're meant to be used with thick material, mat board, chipboard, anything up to a 16th of an inch. Okay, you can cut them out of paper, but the thing about it is these lines here are cutting blades and they're sunk halfway down into the die. So if you cut paper, you know, they're not that scoring line is not going to reach the paper because that'll be sitting on top. So you just have to score them by hand if you want to do them out of paper or, you know, like poster board, something like that. If you do something that's kind of thick, you might get the lines, you know, when you cut it, it may not score into it, but you can see the lines where you can fold. So, hey, Juliana. Thank you, Glum. Okay, Country View Crafts has them. Okay, thanks everybody. Hey, Teresita. Okay, cut four and make a lantern. Oh, the frames, that's a cool idea. All right, so let's just put these inside so you can see, even though we didn't officially make the book. But... So you believe me that they do fit. They're flying around, and they're not stuck down, but I think you can kind of get the gist that, or maybe not. <laughs> they do fit, but I didn't want to trim that piece off. I am making a giant mess. But see, it'll fit nicely. So you can do that. You know, you could do two little pockets, one on either side, and just collect all your stuff. You could put some photos in there, whatever you want. Um or, you know, do a combination. You can do like a pocket and a book or two books, you know, depending on how thick it is. You can do any kind of combination. And that's what I like about these, that they're personal to you. You can make them do whatever you want. And then you also get all these elements. So maybe you want to use them in another book that you have. They fit. I mean, they all pretty much work together. Um, this could go anywhere. Or... I have an idea for what I want to do with this. Um, you know, it can, it stands alone too. It's its own little pocket. You could put it on a, in another book or wherever you want. So in fact, I was thinking, what if you did them back to back? That might be kind of cool with like a little divider in the middle and do a whole set of, you know, organizers. There's just tons of ideas and we will be exploring these further as we go. Um, does anybody have questions about any of this stuff? Uh, what is the size of the frame? It is, the outside is, I suppose you want centimeters, Karen. <laughs> uh, that would be, see, that's where it, I like, guess, maybe seven and a half by uh, ten and a quarter. And then the inside is almost eight and <laughs> well, five. See, yeah, I, I just, it's too much guessing and too many small numbers. It's four by three. So you could fit a journaling card in there. You might have to trim off a little bit, but it's basically, you could fit a journaling card. So 
that's that. Hi, Ellie. You have a question. Is it possible to sew with a normal sewing machine or I do, do I need an old one and what kind of needle? Okay. I have an old 1951 Singer. So I sew only paper with it pretty much. <laughs> and my machine is in shock if I ever put fabric there. But um, I use, I think I had just a regular size needle in that. It wasn't anything fancy. The cardboard is kind of porous. The mat board might be a little tougher. So you might have to experiment with that. Um, if you have a nice machine, I would I would not want to tell you to try it. But if you decided to yourself, I'd be all right with it. So um, I would just take a little piece and see what happens. Thank you, Chris Flint. So good to see you. Aw, is there an ATC die cut included? Yes, Sandy, let's get to that. All right, so that's that's only on here. But the one thing I'd like you to remember about it is this is adaptable to and can be constructed in a, several different ways. So if you get it and you're like, uh, how does that work again? Just play around with it. Don't worry about if you have to chop off flaps or tabs or whatever. Go ahead and do it. Um, you could do a real skinny one. Here's one that Tanya did. And she just overlapped, you know, she chopped off these here, these three tabs, and these three tabs, and just over, let, you know, then she just had one on each side, which made it skinny. You know, isn't that cute? And then you can put your little book in. You can find some books uh, pre-made, or you can make your own, and we'll do a video on that too, on how to make the insert books. But I think I generally do because this book comes out to oh, wrong one. Uh, four and a half by six and a half. So I do my signatures about four by six. So that's why it's nice that photos would work in here. You know, you could take one of those little photo album sleeves and put that in here and that would work too. And you could do thicker. It's kind of like the size of the book box but it's a little taller, so, or a little wider, I mean. Okay, so that's that one. All right, and, you know, you can cut all kinds of materials, and we kind of went through that yesterday. I showed you, we had some leather ones, we had all different. So, and all the, the other thing I want to say is, don't be afraid to cut this out of, like, your thick material, and cut these little pockets and frames and things out of paper or cardstock. It doesn't matter. You know, you can easily put these on your scoreboard and score them out of paper. It takes nothing. They're already cut. So uh, what I normally do if I'm cutting them out of paper is I will chop off these outer flaps because you don't need them and then just fold the paper flat. So it just comes out to like this little pocket. You just fold that over and glue it to a page. So we can, we'll, we'll be doing all this stuff. Don't worry. Okay, the next one is, this is the library pocket. And I was gonna cut one and just show you how fun they are with, uh, oh, thank you, Jenny. She's translating. <laughs> I'm horrible at that. I was told in like, I don't know what grade we were in that we were going to have to learn metric and then somehow we never had to do it. <laughs> I was very happy. Okay, now this is the library pocket. That is uh, this die. Where did it go? All right, well, I had it out. What did I do? Anyway, uh, this has. A couple pieces to it. This is like a little label. I was just going to go ahead and cut one. Thank you, Ellie. Uh, this is the, these are two little tabs that come on it. So I was just going to go ahead and cut a couple so you could see. And then I thought this was cute paper. It's by my friend Lori Whitlock. She does such cool stuff. Um, this is the ATC card. Two and a half by three and a half. Okay, so you can, and we're gonna do a swap. So we'll all get practice in making them. And you can cut this on your 
I guess I've got my plus, so I'm gonna just actually go grab my big shot. It's just easier to maneuver. All right, so I'm just gonna lay all this stuff on my big shot. I'm not sure I can cut everything. I could probably do the pocket and a couple tabs. Let's do that. And I'm laying the, I'm trying to get these kind of straight because they've got lines. Wait a minute. Sorry about that. So I'm not using my chrome cutting pad because these are pretty open. They're not that intricate, you know. And then I have two pieces of paper here. So I'm just going to roll those through. And then these are so easy to put together and quick and addicting. If you listen to my team, I'm just cranking them out. And they are pretty fun. All right, here's the little label. And you can do a couple at a time. I've done it. And then this I'm going to try and kind of line up here because it's got words and things. I cannot talk today. Did I mention that? Oof. The other thing that I figured out, just I was kind of playing around before we did the live, is that you can use that as a window. So I just took this and I had this other piece of paper and just cut a window and then you can put your little photo in here. And where is that other piece? This kind of layers nicely, you know, this piece and this piece, the proportions are nice. You know, it's kind of like a little frame. So, oh, oh, thank you, New England Paper Crafts. Is that Mary Lou? Mary, is it Mary Lou? I can't remember. Uh, love the tabs. Yeah, those are fun. And they work really nicely with the stamps. Okay, so we have two little cards. And that could even be a cute little frame if you could go around it and we have this we've got the little tabs now these you have to poke out because there's no opening there to kind of let it out <laughs> I'm sorry I swear I just can't talk today so these are that's so cute so there is a score line on the die and it just folds over and so these are the pieces and so then if you want to put this together you just have to decide because it's made out of paper what side do I want to show and I think I'm going to do it like that. You know, whatever would show up better. However, you can cut two of them and do, you know, one one way and one the other way. And then you've got score lines here. You just take your glue or adhesive, whatever you want to use. You don't need that much. And then just fold this up. And you got your little pocket. Just press on it. Isn't it cute? I love it. And then this fits here if you want, you know. And then these fit inside. Well, let's put a little tab on them. Let's do this. Even though I don't know if I can stand that. <laughs> I don't like orange and pink together. I, I'm better than I used to be, but those colors just get on my nerves. So it's fine on here, but like that orange. Mm. But see, the contrast is really better. So, all right, I'm going to have to suck it up and go for the red. <laughs> it's kind of pink, really. So you can put it anywhere. You can put it on the side. And this is where I was saying it's fun to use the stamps 
with it, you know, to say like, that one says file. So let's just do one. Actually, I might want to do that right there, but it would fit on any of these, I think. Yeah, that'll fit. But I think I'll do it on this. I'm not sure how much that's going to show up, but... Oh, I did a... Oh, it doesn't matter. I squished it too much, but... So you can use these little tabs on here, but you can also use them on the side of pages, you know, and put a date or subject or whatever. And then I would, you could do it a couple ways. You could do the glue inside here, or you could do it like that if you don't want to see that here. Or you could cut this in half and you'd have two tabs, you know, but I'll just go like this. It doesn't matter. So that's the deal on the tabs and the cards. That was off a little bit. So that's that. And then let's put this one over here. So I'm going to do this way. And then, you know, you can write whatever. And then you just have this cute little storage box for them or pouch or whatever you want to call that little <laughs> envelope. <laughs> Help me. I just want to go back and take my voice off this entire show. Uh, they're just days, guys. Isn't that cute, though? I would put this here because that blends in too much. I love it. So these can go on all your pages and all kinds of stuff. Hello, Beatrice. Leslie in Borman, Portsmouth. She, oh, okay, maybe um, Mary Lou was talking there. Wait, I have to see if I got the name right, because I haven't seen you in how long? It's been a while. Laurel, I'm sorry. All right, well, Lou, kind of. <laughs> With the day I've had, I, I, I have no excuse. I don't know. <laughs> uh I've mostly been inside. Maybe I'm now I'm used to being around people. The crisis we had has been resolved. Um, Mom thought she lost a hearing aid, which was very bad because they're like five thousand dollars, and you know she just sometimes she takes her sweater off and it gets caught in it. And anyway, she found it after two days, so we we're all very happy. <sighs> so. Pocket good for a gift. Yes, it would be. A gift card. That could fit in there. Seven years in San Diego. Oh, good for you. Uh, hi, Pauline. Oh, good. In New Zealand. Oh, I want to go there. You ordered that dye from your favorite store in Ontario. That's great. Okay. All right. So that's the pocket. Um, oh, and then the alphanumeric. Let's take a look at that one. Here's this die. And here's what cuts, okay? So instead of doing it, I'm just going to tell you. What I do with this one is I do cut this using the chrome precision plate because it really gets, on my big shot, Sometimes this middle piece here is a little harder to get out because the rollers are, uh, I don't know, maybe it's my machine. I've had them a long time, but it, I found that the R was a little hard to get out. But when I cut it on my chrome cutting pad, it was way better. So that's what I would recommend. And then the fun thing about this is that it's perforated. So all you have to do is you kind of fold it over and it, you know, bend this right over for you and what I usually do is 
once once one way, once the other way. And then, you know, these will come apart like little tickets. So you can use the letters that pop out right away, or you can use these letters by themselves too. And each one is its own thing. So the th I just couldn't deal with all of like letters cutting by themselves try and keep track of them so i thought no they're all going on one die <laughs> and they're all there you cut them all at one time but what i do is i cut like i wanted to show you how i store them i have a couple different ones i like that piece too because it's a cute little frame and that's what you get if you don't see that's this piece here so if you tip, get the inside out, you can use this little frame. And here's the other one. All right, so what I do is I cut, and this is the Sizzix paper, and this is a nice weight for it. I cut, like, I took a piece of the, let me get it, let me show you. I take this size paper, fold it in half, and I cut them one at a time. But this will get you two, two repeats of it. So if you need more than one letter, like uh, you need two E's or, you know, three E's, that's how many times you have to roll it through. Or you could get a little scrap and put it underneath and just cut it. Yes. Oh, good, Laura. Yes, you're happy they're connected also. Yeah. Yes, and you this one, the only one that you need the Big Shot Plus or 9-inch machine is for the journal. All of these will cut just on your regular Big Shot. So what I did was I just took two different envelopes and I store all of the, I guess, negative pieces in there and all of the letter pieces in here. And then it's kind of a pain. But when I want to spell something, I take them out, just spill them out and go through and search. If I really got fancy, I would, um, you know, get a little divider thing and put them all in different things or envelope. But it's just really, by the time I would do that, I might as well just spill them out and do that. So that's how I do it. But, you know, if anybody has good tips on how they do it or think that would work better, let me know and let all of us know so we can do this the most efficient way. But they're kind of fun to play with. So that's these. And then the last piece to the collection is our 3D embossing folder called tablecloth and it's very detailed and I showed you yesterday some of the samples that I have this is possibly my favorite and this would cut out of a frosted flake cereal box but look at the detail on that and wouldn't that be pretty with like luster wax on this but even just the way it is what size are the letters Dorothy they are I believe they are Three quarters of an inch, but let me look. Uh, they're, uh, no, they're like, actually, a little more than a half an inch. So that would be one and a half centimeters, something like that. They're, they're not huge, but you can really see them, you know. They're a good size. And see on here, isn't that cute? So you could spell out something with four letters. Um, that's that little piece on the end. But, you know, or you could have them going down this way. This, I think, would be such a journal, a good journal cover. You're welcome. Have you got the piece of corrugated card? Yes, that is. Wait, let's find it. I have a lot of stuff, Jenny. <laughs> yeah. This is a piece of, like, Amazon box. And the thing that really surprised me about that was how the one side, you couldn't even tell. It looks like cardstock. This is kind of the negative side. 
And then this side, you can see the corrugated stuff flattened. And I had torn some paper of it off, you know, so it was kind of raggedy looking. And you can see some of it does have the paper. And then this is kind of a lighter color. It's really cool. The floss containers for embellishments. Ah, yeah. I mean, it it, it is crazy. And this is from a tablecloth from my mom. The other one that was, or it's a, yeah. This was the other thing that really blew my mind. This is release paper from my label sheets or my, I can't remember if it's to my um, adhesive, but I think it's the label sheets because it's shinier. But this really came out amazingly detailed. Boxes meant to sort of beads. Oh, yes, that would. They would be good for letters. Yeah, so I was really happy with that. I, I had no expectations, but that one I really liked. And the other thing about this folder is, like Susie showed us on Tuesday, if you put it inside here, I think this is 10 inches, she said, you can match it up so that it's a repeat and you really can't tell where it's supposed to start and stop. Yeah. Either side. I don't know which one I like better. I kind of think that one. I don't know if that's the right side or the... I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's fun. Because this has texture on it. Stitches. And this does, but it's recessed. So you can't see it as much. Anyway, you need to get one and you can decide. <laughs> Amazon challenge. Um, you know what? I think we talked about doing the swap challenge. But you could do a swap out of Amazon. <laughs> uh, the one thing that I did not like that didn't impress me was the wallpaper. But everything else. I mean, here's another box. This is a corrugated box, but it's like a finer. And I thought that came out really cool, too. Your books box trays. Oh, all oh, those little. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a good idea, Leslie. Yeah. Boxes made to sort beads. Yeah. Starch fabric and emboss it. Oh, oh, I see Jenny has a plan. And this is metal, which it's kind of shiny, but this is hard. You know, this came out kind of cool too. So lots of ideas for all of these. This seems almost boring. This is just regular paper, even though I like that too. But there's so many other things that you can squish. <laughs> Why wouldn't you try it? So especially recycled things. You already have them. You might as well. All right, guys. I, I'm going to go. <laughs> that was too much for me. I can't believe that my, that that stand. I'm still just so embarrassed that I did that. <laughs> I got to see if I can delete that out of my, <laughs> my video. Anyway, thank you for hanging in with me. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. You're slightly embossed with embossing aluminum and coloring with alcohol markers. Yes, that is that is fun. Get candy for Valentine's in a box with a tray insert. That's a good idea with all those little... Oh, we need Whitman samplers, everyone. And then save it. <laughs> oh, thanks for coming, everybody. All right, and there's the link for the retreat. We got a lot done. We still have to talk about the swap, but um, maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure what's happening this weekend, but uh, hopefully no crisis like last weekend, but um, you never know. So we will get the swap going once I get all the Etsy stuff out, and I still have a couple orders I have to finish today, and I hope to get them out. I'm going to go up and see mom and take a month. Away. If you need dyes, more will be in stock soon. Thank you, Glum. Yes, I know this is way long, but we had a lot to do. The name of the group is the Eileen Hall Fan Club. Oh, shoot. All right, I'm going to put an announcement in there because I have a, I have an event on the, the 15th, and it's something really different. So I'm maybe I'll do a separate announcement about that, okay? Anyway, too much. Uh, sorry for all the mess ups.
but that's okay. I still still happy about all these cool dyes, so it's not enough to make me, you know, <laughs> I want to be depressed. I can handle it. All right, thanks guys. You're so good to me. All right, see you soon. <laughs> Bye.